If you're wondering why I have on um, this cap and gown, is because today I graduated with my bachelor's degree. It took me literally 12 fucking years to graduate because I was just so indecisive on what kind of major I was doing. Quit a couple of times, but then the last three years, I was like, listen, man, I gotta finish this shit. I gotta. And I just bust my ass the last two years. I did it, nigga! I didn't actually wear this this shit under it. I didn't wear this, but I'm at home. And I just felt like wearing this shit because I paid for this motherfucker. You know how much this shit cost? This shit was like $80. So this shit is going to be a part of the wardrobe. I'm frugal with my shit. And I just, I don't like to spend unnecessary money. This was very necessary. Situations are boring as fuck. I was bored out of my mind. I fucking like, oh my god, this shit is so fucking long. And as soon as they started calling um, the names for my department, I got the fuck up out of there. Anyway, we don't even do that. We don't do that. What's going on? First of all, motherfuckers, y'all keep talking about this gorilla shit. So if you guys are not aware, you guys under a rock. Uh, last week, a uh, three-year-old, uh, three, I, I believe he's four, zoo in Cincinnati, he got into a gorilla's pit. I don't know if you guys seen this video. I don't know how that little nigga got in there. But crazy shit to me is like, where was the fucking parents? Like, where the fuck were you at? There's a lot of controversy around this gorilla being killed. Let me tell you something. Maybe I'm seeing something different. You know how big that fucking gorilla was? That gorilla is four to five hundred pounds. Everybody's like, oh, you shouldn't have killed the 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 you know the gorilla. He's an endangered species. I get it. But there was a three-year-old boy that somehow climbed in a fucking gorilla's pit. I don't know if you guys saw the video. He was dragging that little boy around like a fucking rag doll, okay? The gorilla didn't look like he was trying to harm the little boy. At the end of the fucking day, um, it's about saving the life of a little boy that somehow got caught up uh, getting into a fucking gorilla's pit. And, and the zookeeper did what they was, you know, what they thought was right. And unfortunately, it took the life of a endangered species. Like, who gives a fuck? Really? Like, I'm just trying to be as honest as I can. Like, I, it's unfortunate that the gorilla died. Rest in peace, Harambe. I blame the motherfucking parents. Where the fuck were you niggas at? Y'all don't understand that three to four year olds or the little kids in general are the bravest motherfuckers in the world. Gotta kind of teach them fear. For him to climb down that big ass pit like was nothing, where the fuck was the parents? Enough about fucking uh, Harambe because his baby mama is out here cheating on him. Look at this shit. You see how she's riding that dick? I don't even ride dick like that. Damn. I gotta get better with my hopping skills. You see how that bitch was riding it? Shit. I water in my knees. I can't can't ride dick. <laughs> Here's my opinion on the whole fucking thing. Okay? I don't ever believe that any any animal deserves any type of cru uh, cruelty. But we've been making this thing a big deal when we should be making other things a big deal. Right? Like the 40 fucking people that were killed. I believe killed, don't quote me, in Chicago over Memorial Day weekend. 40 shootings, my nigga, in Chicago, and we crying over this motherfucking gorilla. 40 fucking people died. Gorilla, 40 fucking people died. Like, what the fuck is going on in society, for real? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it was just, it's, the gorilla shit, like, the boy is safe, is safe. Unfortunately, Harambe is out the motherfucking game. It is what it is. Moving right along, I'm tired of talking about fucking gorillas, because you know what? I don't fuck with zoos because I feel like when you have animals caged, okay, and they're out of their habitat, wild animals, anything can happen. And that's why I don't fuck with zoos, okay? I'm not trying to go to no zoo and a fucking Tony the Tiger come out of his fucking cage. He ain't eating six days. Your kid looking like a delicious steak and then somehow break the fucking glass and come in and devour that. I feel like these wild animals are supposed to be in their habitat. They're supposed to be in the wild and living like that. Not in cages and on display for people but oh, look at the fucking bear. Shit. I can't fuck with that zoo shit. You know? It's a fucking gorilla. Back to this video though, look at this shit.
Do y'all see how that bitch is bouncing up and down on that dick? Lord. Oh my God. I saw this shit on Instagram. I was like, what in the fuck am I doing my life? I feel better in my cabbage gown like this. You understand? Well, that wraps up this week's uh, fucking show. What you guys need to do is subscribe, like, and comment. Pop bottle this. I can't even pop this bottle. I brought some Merlot. Because, you know, I'm an old bitch, so I like drinking wine, you know? That's kind of been my thing now, like, just sipping on red wine. I like doing old people shit. It's not really old. Let me stop calling me old. I'm vintage out this bitch. Vintage vagina. Just keep that in mind, though. I keep calling myself old. I'm not old. I'm just getting better like wine. Uh, I gotta have a nigga to come over to open this shit. I don't know. You see, I ain't got no fucking strength. I need to start doing some push-ups or some shit. I can't open the motherfucker. It just ain't meant to be today. I haven't really been drinking because I've been cutting down on it. But, um, I'm going to toast to myself for my success. What I want to tell people is, uh, I had somebody, um, hit me up in my DMs on Instagram. Follow me on my Instagram. It's at Tawana underscore Monique. It's across the screen somewhere. He and me today when I put up the pictures and I said that it took me 12 years to graduate from, um, from college. And, um, she was like, you know, how did you do it? And say something. Don't put a time on your education. The education will be there. I did it because, for one, I was a procrastinator. But two, financially, sometimes I couldn't afford to go back a semester. And number three, I just, I just kept switching my major and not knowing what I really wanted to do. And it's okay if you don't know what you want to do because in life we just really trying to learn who we really are. All I can say is for people that are debating about going back to school, take your time. It ain't a race. Take one or two courses here and there. And I was going to school full time and work full time. Sometimes I, if I couldn't do full time uh, school, I'll do one or two classes. Gotta bust it out. Go at your pace. That's all I can tell you. I'm gonna take a toast to me finally graduating. I graduated with no debt. I got no Sally Mae on my motherfucking back. That shit is mine. That degree is in the room somewhere that needs a fucking frame. I'm gonna toast to me graduating from college finally before I turn 30. Salud, nigga. That was pretty good. That's pretty good. Like, subscribe, comment, all that shit. And also, you can email me at talkingoutmyass at gmail.com. Anything you want me to talk about, I'm going to holler at y'all next week, nigga. I'm out.